Hey you guys, it's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess, and welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. And on today's episode, I am going to be telling you guys how to have painless periods. Yes, this is not clickbait. I'm going to be telling you guys how to have painless periods in three quick ways. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what I am going to start with. You have to change your belief system when it comes to your periods. It is a myth that our periods should be painful. It is a psychological curse that society has put upon us. We were programmed from a very young age to believe that our periods are bad, that they're supposed to be painful. Whether you heard stories from your mom, your aunts, your cousins, your sisters, way before we even got a cycle, we were taught about our cycle, but in a negative way. Periods don't have to be painful. Your sensitivity increases during your period because you should be doing shadow work. Once your sensitivity increases, it shows you your blockages. It shows you things that you should heal, things that you need to let go of. Your period is literally a gift of healing. It's when all of your traumas, all of your anger, your insecurities, and all of the things that you try to hide or try not to deal with on an everyday basis, it all comes up to the surface. That is why we are so sensitive. That is why we are so angry or whatever different emotions people put with PMSing. These seven days, you should be doing your shadow work. You should be going within, healing, releasing, and letting go. It should be, your cycle should be a sacred ritual for you to dive back into your divine feminine change your belief when it comes to your period stop dreading it stop talking bad about it be happy okay it's time for me to heal it's time for me to do some shadow work let's see in this week what is going to be brought up let it be a sacred ritual for you for you to dive back into your divine feminine so the second way to have painless periods is you have to heal your womb. Now this out of all three is going to be the most important one. You need to talk to your womb. And I'm dead as serious. Genuinely, it's just you and me in the room. I can't hear you. So genuinely ask yourself, when is the last time I talked to my womb? Or if you have ever talked to your womb. The only time a lot of women pay attention to their womb is when they're on their period or when they're about to orgasm. Those are the only two times you talk to her. No wonder she is screaming at you on your period. Talk to your womb, tell her how much you love her. You need to build a connection with your body. And talking to your womb is also releasing sexual trauma. That is rape, molestation, you faking orgasms, you having sex with people when you really don't want to. This can affect your womb. All of that negative energy, all of that gunk, all of those spiritual and sexual demons just sitting in your womb, no wonder again she is screaming at you during your period. This is the only way your womb can talk to you. This is the only way your womb can get you to listen. It's by causing you pain. You don't nurture your womb. She's not sacred to you. So since you don't nurture your womb, that manifests in other ways. That manifests in STDs, a smell, 
bad cramps, no orgasms, infections, not being fertile. Again, when you have stagnant, stuck, negative energy that is not being transmuted or healed, it's going to manifest into other things. That is why it is called a disease. Because your body is at dis-ease. Pay attention to your womb. Pay attention to your past relationships. From your past relationships, what are you still holding on to? There's so many YouTube videos on how to do cord removals. When you lay down and you, and you visualize, when you have sex with somebody, you get something called a soul tie. You are tied to that person. So you need to release those cords, release those ties and remove them. Do that energetically. Yeah, you may have physically left that person, but there is still energetic ties between you two. You also need to heal your mom energy. The relationship that you have with your mom is super duper important. And when I say heal the relationship that you have with your mom, I don't mean that you guys have to be best friends. I'm blessed that me and my mom are like this. Like she's literally my best friend. I know things about her that, child, I wish she could just kept that to herself. But she is my best friend. That also does not mean that our relationship is perfect. There's a lot of things I needed to heal in that relationship. My mother had me when she was 20. She was still a child herself. So trying to raise yourself and have to take care of somebody else, she made a lot of mistakes. She's human. So you need to forgive your mother. You also came from your mother. So whatever trauma or sexual abuse or anger, whatever your mother had went through while you were literally cooking in her room for nine months, taking in all of that energy, you need to release that as well. Have a better relationship with your mother. Or if your grandmother was the one that took care of you, have a better relationship with her. Forgive them. Envision the relationship that you want with your mom. See your mom as her best self. See y'all having the best relationship ever. A mother and daughter relationship is super important, you guys. The last way for you to have painless periods is you have to dive into your divine feminine. And one way that you can do that is yoni steams. When I say this has changed my life, this one is almost gone. It's like right about here, but I have a whole new pack. But this helps to clean your vagina. It helps to clean your uterus. It helps with regulating your menstrual cycle. It gets rid of cramps and bloating. This is the truth. I would do this probably a week before your cycle comes on. And I promise you will see a difference. And your vagina gonna feel different too, girl. <laughs> so the sec another way to dive into your divine feminine is yoni eggs now these are not yoni eggs these are just regular crystals but i'm just putting these up to show you guys an example so you see how soft this is silky this is going to be the material of the egg it's going to be an actual egg and um, comes in different sizes your preference and it's pretty much a crystal shaved down and smoothed down into the shape of an egg the most popular one is rose quartz and you pretty much just stick it into your yoni area and it helps you to have a more mind and body connection. It helps to strengthen your vaginal walls, which also helps with orgasms. So go get you one. I am telling you guys, go get you one. You need to have a connection with your womb. So the yoni egg sitting up in there you can feel it not in a painful way but your mind know it your but your mind knows it's there so you are building a mind and body connection you are also strengthening your vaginal walls so it's a win-win to me you also need to take care of your yoni do some yoni self care so no ingrown hairs no harsh chemicals all that douching and dishing that y'all do stop that if you are a girl who wear tampons 
try to find some more healthier and holistic tampons if you can i believe uh what is her name honeypot has a really great uh really great collection i was about to say connection honeypot has a really great collection of pads and wipes and tampons and vaginal washes great stuff you also can make sure you are washing daily ladies especially if you go to the gym bacteria grows with moisture so you just went to the gym and you all sweaty which means your pants are sweaty sweaty and your panties are sweaty you walking around running errands and doing that all day you have to be mindful and i understand we are busy we have lives we have children jobs i get it that's why they have showers at the gym do a little one-two wash wash and change your underwear and change your pants especially if you are a heavy sweater you can also do some warm coconut massages make sure it is natural refined organic coconut oil don't just be going in there putting anything on your cooter okay warm her up a little bit take some out of this container or you can leave it in a container um it's just going to harden back up and solidify but take some out the container, which I would prefer we do because I don't like cross contamination. So take some out the container, warm her, warm her up a little bit, and give your vagina a nice little massage. Get to know her, talk to her. Yeah, y'all may masturbate, but it's probably rough. It's probably quick. It's probably with a toy, so you don't even have that body to body connection with yourself. And you're probably watching some porn, watching some man or some woman that you don't even know. Getting sex ties to people you don't even know. Yeah, you're not having physical sex with them, but if they busting one and you busting one, y'all are energetically intertwining. You don't even know these people. You know what they do behind closed doors. No wonder you fighting demons. No wonder your periods are so painful. You also need to love your yoni. Listen. Listen to me and stop listening to these dudes. I don't care if your vagina quote unquote looks like roast beef. What even is that? I don't care if your clitoris hangs low or sits up high. I don't care if your labia is a lot larger or if you have a bigger clit. Everybody's vagina is perfectly sculpted and molded to them. Love her. I don't care if you got hyperpigmentation down there. Love her. Be proud of her. You also need to watch what you eat. And I know, I eat meat, I am nowhere near a vegan, but a week or a week and a half before my cycle, I start to eat a lot cleaner, a lot more fruits, a lot more vegetables. You have to realize that energy does not die, okay? So if animals are killed brutally and then we go and eat them, where do you think that energy transfers to? And I'm not sitting here and like, oh, go vegan and none of that because I'm not vegan. My mother in there cooking a pot roast for Sunday dinner, okay? I'm just saying, a week before, just try to eat a lot cleaner. Just watch what you put into your body. And I know on our periods, we crave a lot of sweets, a lot of salty stuff. I get it. But I'm telling y'all, this is what's going to help you. Just one week before, eat a lot cleaner. Juices, smoothies, vinegar shots, detox your body. Next, you can also do a yoni facial. So, what I normally do is I get me a little container like this. I have my lids over there, a clean vajayshul brush, and I like to use dragon fruit powder organic dragon fruit powder i pour me some of this into my container with a little bit of aloe vera gel and some witch hazel 
you mix her up and you paint your vagina you let that sit for a good five to ten minutes and i usually do that after a day after i shave don't do it the same day because your pores and all of that is still open do it a day after you have shaved and no ingrown hairs none of, none of those bumps or discoloration you can also do this um, instead of the dragon fruit you could do it with turmeric so say you do have like a dark area on your vagina because you know our vaginas don't get that much light unless you are a sunbather who bathes naked that's different i've always wanted to try that but you can do turmeric with witch hazel or turmeric with the aloe vera gel and you can make that a a, a vagacial a vaginal facial y'all see all of these products and i'm not even done yet you have to take care of her i am on my cycle right now and y'all probably would not have even been able to tell if i didn't tell you my energy even being able to sit here and do a video most girls just want to lay in bed all day eating snacks don't want to be bothered the next thing i want to show you guys is natural pain killers okay this one is mugwort we have lemon verbena and you have passion flower you could also use what it's called i think it's called like a raspberry leaf you can use willow's bark you can use cramp bark you can use motherwort um it's another one called i believe it's called dong kwai you could use dong kwai like say your period is late or you want to have your period come on early. Like say you're going to Miami next week and you want your period to come on now. Don Kwai is a natural period starter. There are so many organic and healthy Advils, Pamperins. Do it in a healthy way. Your womb, your, you are cramping because your womb is trying to tell you something. It's trying to show you that you need to heal something. So you keep popping Advils and Pamperins and Tylenols, you are suppressing that. So when your next cycle comes, your cramps are even worse. So now you need a stronger dosage of medicine. So you're telling me you're gonna be popping pills for the rest of your life, every single month. No, get the natural alternatives. You can smoke this, you can make this into tea. It is so many healthier options. And God knows the long-term effects of you taking Tylenol and Advil and Pampering for seven days out of the month for the rest of your life. What is that really doing to your body? Y'all don't have to take these. I have a lot more over there. You guys don't have to take these specifically. You don't. Or you can make your own Yoni oil. All I did was take a little bit out of it from this. And I put it in there. Get you some olive oil. Organic olive oil, you guys. Or coconut oil. Don't go get no vegetable oil. No canola oil. No. No Crisco. No. Coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. Put it in here. Let it get infused a little bit. And you can put a little droplets on your inner thigh. A little bit of droplets on your stomach for your cramps. You can even warm the oil up. There are so many alternatives. We have to start doing right by our body. Stop faking those orgasms. Stop having sex with people you barely know. Talk to your womb. And I don't mean just when you are cramping or when you are masturbating. Those should not be the only two times that you talk to your womb. You probably don't even talk to your womb when you cramping. You probably just mute her and throw drugs out your throat. Our periods are not supposed to be painful. You need to honor your womb. You need to honor your inner goddess. Connect with your womb. Love her. Show her beautiful energy. And I promise you, she will not bring you pain. She will not bring you vaginosis. She will not bring you STDs. She will not bring you bad pregnancies, yeast infections, BV. I can go on and on. Treat your womb right. 
all that oh my pussy make him crazy oh my pussy make her crazy made him do this that is not a flex for somebody to put their mouth or they mm, inside of your sacred space and it turns them crazy is not a fucking flex somebody should taste your honey pot or dive into your honey pot and be calm be engulfed in love and peace and serenity they should drown in your divine feminine there shouldn't be no smell there shouldn't be no dryness and yes who you are having sex with that does matter because y'all can probably be in the comments like oh well he didn't get me wet or, oh he didn't do foreplay again why are you about to have sex with him then He should not even stick nothing inside of you until, okay, you know what? If y'all want some sex one-on-one -on -one talk, y'all can go watch this video right here. Because I can talk about this all day. I'm already, this video already long. So, I am Seiko Kaori, the manifesting goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. And everything that I talked about in this video will be linked in the description down below. The Yoni eggs, the Yoni steam, the glass jars, the containers, whatever it is, it's all going to be listed down below. Bye.